Squad, what's happening with y'all, baby? Tall guy, car views back with another legendary video, man. You see Mr. Organic Corvette sitting there looking. What? Look at that thing, man. Go subscribe to my dog's YouTube channel, ASAP, Mr. Underscore Organic with a K. Do that ASAP. And if you watched my last video, I was already telling y'all and talking to y'all about going out there and racing street speed. So we are officially about to go there now. Just picked up my uh, Hellcat right there. Well, Hell keys to keep it greasy, you know what I'm saying? But we are here at High Tech Motorsport. If you want to uh, rock with them and what they got going on here, which you should, because he's a legendary dude, High Tech Motorsport. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel, ASAP. But look at the Hell keys, man. Come on, man. We are packing up right now, so we're taking everything. If you don't know, he picked me up in his Corvette from my house. So we are putting everything in the Hellcat right now, and then we're going to get up out of here. There you go, Bart. What's up, my man? I didn't even see you. How you guys doing? I appreciate that, my man. We're trying to get these guys on the road to Philadelphia, which Philadelphia is that way. No, it's not. It's this way, Bart. I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. Look, through his whole, through them all, his little equilibrium all. Have you read the comments, Bart? Some of the videos I've done where I've raced and I've lost and stuff like this. No, I'm kind of busy. Okay, so y'all got a lot of weirdos. I'm gonna put y'all in, and I'm gonna keep a G for the G Squad and the Organic Nation over here. All right. And for the high tech motor sporters. Ooh, that, might, that might be the high techies. That yeah. might be a good name for your subscribers right there, Mark. You know what I'm saying? Just do a bait, a little giblet, you know what I'm saying? But no, for all the people out in the world who think that Bart swindled me and I lost in my car and doesn't make a thousand horsepower, understand this. I'm gonna give y'all the real right now, Chief of the G Squad. He does all of my work for free. Do, am I wrong, Bart? Well, I like $3 million, but since that doesn't work for you, yeah. You gave him that information. That's some valuable yeah, information right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give it to him, though, brother. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because, listen, for the people, because, you know, they be thinking you're swindling and, you yeah, know what I'm saying, and no all that. Swindling going on. Listen, it's all about what? partnerships. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you'd be a fool. You'd be a fool. I'm sorry, I'm a little spit. The yeah. parts. All right, yeah, a little parts. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. People would be delusional to believe that all them big car YouTubers and all the big vloggers and all that in the world, that they don't get their work for free. It's marketing. It's just smart. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So whenever I, I'm always trying to get everything for free. Damn right. One million percent. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of overhead that goes into this YouTube world. What they're really talking about. Yeah, nothing. They're talking about a whole bunch. Of nobody substantial hating on people that's trying to be great or that is doing great things. It's impossible. That's a fact. Be miserable. That is true. So God bless you in your misery. <laughs> yep. I mean, since we get everything for free too, bro, you want to give me the parts for free too? Oh. What is? Look at the handshake. He confirmed. He confirmed. No, it's playing, no, man. But no, that's what it's about, man. I'm just keeping the with y'all, man. So for all the people who are out there thinking that, there y'all go. Get y'all the information you need right there, man. But now we about to get on the road, and we'll see you oh, in a minute. We about to start the hell keys, man. We gonna get up out of here, man. Let's see. I got it pulled up on the uh, GPS. Oh, let's get the SRT to pop up. Now we are good to go. All right. Now here it goes. We got about. Let's see, 17 hours. It's gonna take us really about 20 hours because you got stopping, you got the gas, you got the eating, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be somewhere around 20 hours and you can't account for traffic. So it's gonna be about 20 hours, give or take. So without further ado, man, let's get to it. All right, man, and just like that, we are in Philadelphia, sure. Pennsylvania, man. My dog, Mr. Organic, brother. Hello, people. Talk to him, Mr. brother. Organic, AKA the go to ghost, AKA, <laughs> man, three up. <laughs> Philadelphia, PA, you know, yep. keeping it pure. So what's some things you wanna do while you're here in uh, Philly, um, brother? The most important thing I wanna do in Philly is go to the Rocky Statue, run upstairs, you know, get my <laughs> club lane on. Show them yeah. hands. Okay, uh, course, you know, okay. I gotta do that, man. Uh, that's the main thing I wanna do. You never been to Philly? No, I haven't. I gotta do cheesecake too. I gotta go to uh, one of the cheesecake places. Cheese, cheese. Oh, all the Philly cheesesteaks. Yeah, Last time it. I went, I think I went to, I what went to Max's and Gino's. I'm going to which one with the lights? The crew. The, the one that's in a good location. Yeah, Gino. yeah, yeah. Cause last one I went to type one, they were type in the hood, brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, yeah, no, no, not the Inglewood. Yeah. No, sir. I know you're gonna get on your time when you're running up in the stairs. And, you know, the most Rocky by Ball statue is right here too. Right over there. Okay. Okay, I know my surroundings look kind of unfamiliar. We got three of them in the back. Say what up to him, Brody. Mr. Underscore Organic with a K, if I'm not mistaken, correct? The Neon Don, that is correct. He is type Neon, for real, for real. Look at him. <laughs> Go subscribe to his YouTube channel, ASAP. You see it floating on the screen. But we are in uh, Hershey slash Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Why are we here right now? Well, you see the title, you see the thumbnail. We are collabing with Street Speed, man. We got a lot of legendary videos coming y'all way, man. Right now, we are at this uh, car wash spot. I'm gonna give them a little shout out. Boom, because they're real cool people. Um, they getting the hell keys together right now, man. It's been on a long road trip, so, you know, it ain't as greasy right now. You know, I like to keep the hell keys extra greasy at all times, but uh, gotta get it touched up, man. You know what I mean? So, we about to do some legendary pools, we about to do some legendary car views, we about to do a little bit of legendary of everything. Am I not mistaken, brother? Nah, man, you're never mistaken. And uh, that's what we're here to do, man, to be legendary at all costs and at all times, man. Three of them go. Facts, man. We'll see y'all in a minute, man. What's all done up, touched up, and cleaned up. It's a hell keysy looking even more greasy. Now, look at the tire lettering, man. That's really all I be caring about is the tires, the tire lettering, and the rim, man. Make sure you follow me on all social medias, man. Hit that thing, come here. 
<laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Big blessings, man. Come on, man. Look at the hell, Keezy. Huh? That thing look crazy, three. Listen there, brother. I was able to achieve the impossible, brother. Believe you stay consistent, you work hard, you do that every single day. Before you know it, man, you'll have your dream car sitting there like that, like it's just normal when it's not normal. That's all you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, man. I'm sitting there just, like I remember seeing the Hellcat losing my marbles. I'd be like, man, I, yeah, I can't wait to I can own one of those. I can't wait to drive down the highway and smash. I can't wait to rev it up. can't wait to burn some rubber. can't wait to act dumb. You know what I mean? Now I do it every single day just cause, you know? So, I mean, if you believe you can achieve, man, plain and simple. Let's get a pointer standing here, man. I'm about to collab with Street Speed 707. If you don't know who that is, go subscribe to his YouTube channel, ASAP. I'm about to collab with that man. We used to watch that man, you know what I'm saying? Like, we still watch that man, you know what I'm saying? But we used to watch it before we were ever YouTubers. And now, you know what I'm saying, we out here in his city. Ain't that crazy? Can't get no crazy. Man. I started watching his videos because of his Hellcat videos when he first got his white Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't even have that many subscribers then, you know what I'm saying? But I found him off that Hellcat. I was watching him ever since, you know what I'm saying? He done moved on to Corvettes since then. Not we're just regular Corvettes. First he had a Stingray boot. You know what I'm saying? Before, that was before the Hellcat. Right? Street Speed. Right yeah, he had a regular uh, Stingray. And then before that, or and then after that, he got the Hellcat. And then after the Hellcat, he got rid of that, got the Z06. And then after the Z06, then he got the ZR1. Well, you know, he had a bunch of project cars yeah, and stuff in, in between. Yeah, he just, you know, when you're a YouTuber, you gotta do that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know. I always keep a G for the G squad. I'm keeping it hard with y'all. But now he got a 720S McLaren. More 500,000 and all that. So. Listen, man, just to watch the progression has been monumental, you know what I'm saying? Now we out here sitting here. We in Street Speed City, man. We're getting the hell crazy watch like that and all that, man. Come on, man. Look at, look at the thing one more time for the one time for the... In case the people missed it, man. Let me show you what's happening now. You know what I'm saying? The hell crazy is getting all the way touched up so it can be extra greasy. You know what I'm saying? See y'all in a minute, baby. All right, y'all. So as you can see, we are following by Street Speed right now in the McLaren joint. The all green, lime green, Hulk blood joint. Big that big thing, blood. what? Look at, look, look at the leaves flying up behind him and all that. flying or new. Come on, man. That's big cinematic shots right there. That yeah, thing look crazy. crazy. Look at the wing up and all that. I seen in this video, you can put it up by the push of a button, button, too. So, I mean, look at that joint. Come on, man. Ridiculous. <laughs> that big, big 720S, man. Come on, man. You got to be doing some good things in life, you know what I mean, to be having just a 720S McLaren and all that. Come on, man. Huh? Who'd ever thought you could huh? do all this from YouTube? You know what I'm saying? Like, Definitely obtainable. Man, come on, big time, no question. Flash. It's obtainable in any form or fashion, as long as you're putting in the work, you're consistent, you're grinding. You know what I'm saying? No question. I think nuts, man. Got to get that zoom in action right here. Look at this. Sheesh. That thing is crazy, though. Got to get some legendary.com for this. Big time, no question, man. Come ready, on, man. Not ready. Come on, man. That's nuts, man. Look, look, look at the Hellcat hood with the McLaren right there. Sheesh. Come on, man. Look at the doors go up like that. I don't even want to do this because I know what's like up. I know what's up, my man. Look at that. Look at Come that. on, hey look man. We this. out here with the street speed seven one sevens and all that, man. Look at him. Say what's up to him, man. What's up, man? To how the G squad. I always wanted to ask, and I always yes. wondered how the hell do you hold your GoPro like that? Because he got the GoPro stabilizer. Yeah. I had the GoPro with yeah. the suction cup and all that, and uh, yeah, it was it, it, like. But you got to literally. It's, that's a real art because you, you can't move a muscle. Like, yeah. You got to hold it like you got to like you have an issue with you, your hand. Because you can't hold a muscle. You can't move otherwise because you know the microphone's so sensitive. You got like any little you hear any little muffle yeah, and that's why actually i took the uh if you notice i took the cover off oh yeah oh that's okay that's rid of your waterproofing obviously but that's how you get that you know how like it makes that fishbowl noise yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's what does yeah it. oh i didn't know that nice. that's crazy i thought the microphone was like up top or on the bottom type so i never knew where the hell the, it was the yeah, gopro yeah. he laid out the blueprint for the gopro 7x which is very nice i just upgraded though it took I, but now ever since i did i was so kind of stuck in my gopro way you know what i'm saying which i got from you yeah. you know what i'm saying like i was like so I, easy. I know that's why i do it and then you used to it already so you don't really want to adapt exactly. you know what i'm saying but right. now that i got it though i'm like damn i should have did this yeah. a long time ago you know well, what i'm saying maybe that should be my next step i feel like that should no Everyone's no question always, there's, there's always the comments are like dude please and then that's always helps too oh, when you can crazy. see yourself yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying it makes it crispy yeah. listen man the blueprint uh, that he laid out with the, uh, oh yeah, let me give you an official move. All right. We kind of got dangled up at the beginning with the dap and the, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, listen, <laughs> this dude laid out the blueprint for the GoPro. So let's get a full understanding. I remember when I first watched my channel, and I said this in videos before, but I got the whole uh, blueprint layout from him. Even though I said I, was, I never thought I'd become a YouTuber, the reason why I did, when I said it, when I thought I was going to, when I had the conversation with be at work, because I used to work, it's a long story. But anyway, um, he had his GoPro, and I used to always just watch his videos, so it was kind of something I just kind of duly just picked up on. So by the time I said I was going to make a few videos on YouTube and put it out there, I just got the GoPro, and his whole blueprint was laid out there from the way I make my thumbnails to everything. Now, I'm my own way. 
Don't get it twisted and jacked up. But his blueprint was laid out there and I kind of just twisted it and put it in my own way, just like everybody I'm else should. I'm humbled by the fact that you said that you watched me and that inspired you to make videos. That's yeah, what I mean, that's what I, mean, I try to do that for everybody. It's what yeah. everybody, everybody I need mean, to like. It's real. They don't, they don't understand that you gotta have somebody like give you that, that seed to run with it. Throw your own trees. Yeah, for me it was a uh, Super WRX fan back then, yeah. Matt Moran. I watched all his videos too. I watched literally everybody. But it all started with you though. I watched your videos and then I, I remember I told him about your videos. And then from there we was watching them joints together. And then after that, I kind of just, everybody else I started subscribing to after. And then I just was, then I became a YouTube, avid YouTube watcher. I was already watching YouTube a lot. But then I became like subscribed and when the notification popped up, I was watching. So that's why I always tell people to subscribe because a lot of people, I didn't know how to subscribe to people for years. I was just watching. You know what I mean? Whatever popped up on the homepage and I liked it, I was watching. I'd be like, I've been watching you for two years and I finally subscribed. I was like, yeah. well, sure. well, thanks. But yeah, but you should have been subscribed. Thank you though, but appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? No. that come with you in person. Oh man, I watch the channel all the time. You grab their phone and something to take a picture and they go to the channel and then I subscribe. Oh, let me get that, man. Get that. <laughs> that just happened last night, remember? No, so a dude came up to us and watched every video. You can tell you watch people here. Yeah, oh, we went to Philly. Oh. Philly always shows so much oh, love. Philly. I've done a couple of meet and greets here, and it was insane every time. That's but awesome. um, no, we was at uh, where was what was that last night? Philly Live. Yeah, yeah, we was there watching the fight. Did you watch the fight last night? Yes, I did. Oh man, who did you think was gonna win though? I was rooting for McGregor just because I love the guy. Yeah, but, yeah. We, I mean, he's a lovable guy. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I knew like Khabib, and then you disrespect the man religion and all that, bro. He deserved the beating he got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For that oh, though. Yeah. But when he started to lose, I felt so bad for him. I'm like, damn, I wanted him to win. I was root I'm always rooting for the underdog. Yeah, Drake yeah. Was crying. Yeah. yeah, after holding the flag and all that. Yeah, with the flag, I was like, oh, Stop. here we go. Then it was full yeah. barbaric yeah. after yeah. what happened. Yeah. Like, you know, he probably didn't know about Khabib, nothing about him. He, he got a rude awakening. Yeah, facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I didn't even know yeah. Khabib. He showed me some videos. Khabib was wrestling with bears at four years old and all that. Apparently. <laughs> He's Russian, dude. They yeah. Do that. yeah. Shit, you can't be messing with nobody wrestling with bears, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you yeah, wrestling. The aftermath was crazy. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. He was on the ring part trying to jump over, and guy was jumping too. He looked at him and hit him first. <laughs> Connor's a savage. Yeah. yeah. A yeah, beast. Man. And I, I, res I respect Connor, and like, because you got to understand, he got to work ethic. He go hard. He say whatever he want to say. He's unapologetic about it. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you disrespect the man's religion, brother. You know what I'm saying? You type deserve to get beat in the face a little bit, at least. Talk some serious shit. Yeah, but at the same time, you gotta understand that's a double edged sword. Like we talk about this all the time. If the people when you when you're doing some monumental things, you have to be your own number one fan long before anybody else. So what kind of maker does he boosts himself up. You know what I'm saying? So it, he mean it too though. There's certain people that boost themselves up but they don't really stand on it. He he, he stands on it and shows it. Yeah, he, yeah. And he, and yeah. he does back it up. Yeah. No, for sure. No question. Yeah. Yes. Dude, Easy too. Him, and you gotta understand how much of a, a beast McGregor is. So uh, Khabib wrestles with bears and all that other stuff, right? Both of them are legendary dudes. I gotta keep coming back to the bears, right? Because the bears is crazy. But understand this though, he 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 had him on his back, was on his back, turned around, flipped it. He wasn't getting beat in the face. So Khabib said I was gonna beat your face and then reconfigure your whole face. It didn't happen though. He, he was not going for it though. You know what I'm saying? So you, he lost by tap submission, but he didn't. You didn't beat him to a shred. You know what I'm saying? So I respect that too, because he was he had some moments you could tell he was dead body. Oh, and he oh, yeah. and he had enough in you to say you're not gonna embarrass me though. You know what I'm saying? Problem. He gets winded. He gets winded. Yes. Same Big way. He said that too. Mayweather was always gonna beat his ass. Because it's no yeah. always, but he can get 12 yeah. rounds. Yeah, for sure. But then at the same time, you put Mayweather in the damn octagon, he gonna get his ass tore up. So you know what I mean? So Mayweather's not that dumb though. He's not going No, no question. He's not, you know. He's not stupid. Like, no. But he's yeah. All he knows is he's not going in the octagon. <laughs> he knows that for certain. He, he 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 played it like a little bit like he would, but he, come on, bro. He, be smart, man. You know what I'm saying? Just don't, don't really get in there. You know what I mean? But let's, bro. We gotta talk about this, man. All right. Let's you done went from the Hellcat me watching you with the Stingray to all that other stuff. The Stingray first, court, Hellcat, that, all that, and then you Z06. Then you you had about a million damn Z06s, brother. A lot of Corvettes. I've yep. had a lot of vehicles. Period. Yep. And. uh I, I got into McLaren's like a year ago, and I fucking, the 570 was such a good car that I just fell in love. Yeah. It's a different car, too. Yes, yeah, it is. Everybody yeah. don't have them like that. They're getting onto them now, but yep. you really, like, got it early. Are you matching the car on purpose, brother? No, brother, my car is I was going to say, dude. Okay. You driving the car. Yeah. <laughs> That's my color. My car is, you know, I got a wrap like yeah. this too. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. for a I was like, I wonder if he'll bring the bat, but I know, right? Yeah. No, he ain't with all that driving. Yeah, I, I am though. That's a long. I go, I go everywhere. I'm this motherfucker, he said, I was like, well, you can come in if you want, and he's like, I'll drive there. It's 20 hours. Yeah, but that's he knows that's life for me. 
for 15 cities in 17 days, we drove from Minnesota That's all the time. Yeah, I did four tours total going all across the U.S. just meeting all my subscribers. He stay up 24 hours, like he's a maniac. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I really am, though. I get too tired. If, if it's anything over like an eight-hour drive, I fly. Man. I can't do it. No, I, I, me, I, but see, people gotta understand, I've been doing this long before YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was doing this. Yeah, I was doing this in college from the time you I came be home. A truck driver, motherfucker. No, I, I definitely could definitely be a semi driver, no question. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I, I don't think it's different when you're doing it with your car that you like, you know what I'm saying? And all oh, that yeah, stuff. Wait. It just changes the variables of things, you know what I'm saying? It but keeps you awake, too. look at this damn thing, man. It is immortal. It's pretty cool. It's That's crazy. I see you got the new wheels, too. I seen that video, but. Yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta get both of wheels up. Yeah, yeah, you gotta put both doors. Oh, what I think about it in person? Come on, man. Legendary. It's 50 50, man. People either love it or hate it. Nah, man. It should just be love. And if you hate it, shut up and don't tell me you hate it. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, facts. <laughs> Yeah, big bummer. You gotta worry about somebody else. When you, come on, man. You know what I hate, though, bro? I hate when people come up to me and they be like, man, hey, listen, man, I love to rap, but no, there is no but, yeah, bro. That, that just is, just shut up, bro. Don't give me no but, nothing. Just give me my glory and whatever you. Yeah, ain't you, this is how you can tell people ain't never had home training. If your mama, if you grew up and your mama didn't tell you, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Then, I'm sorry, you ain't got home training. You know what I'm saying? Because that's basic one on one home training. You know what I mean? No buts. We don't accept no buts for nobody. At all. Except the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me and Streets be on a different type of time, brother. You're on your own time with that one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're going to Lambo. Blind. That's the SV. That's the, oh, that's the dude that was in your video with the, the SV roaster move. Well, that's, we're meeting them today, and I was like, I wonder There you go, that's McLaren. Might be the long spot yeah, facts. Going on. Green McLaren, Green Lambo, like Green McLaren. Green McLaren. Type Green yeah. Blue Hellcat. There's two of them. There's my Green McLaren and that one. Come on, man. We got the Lambo pull up, SV yeah. Roaster with the McLaren and all that. And then we got some more people in the Ford Fusion behind them following. You know what I mean? That's that's real car people when they follow. Look, <laughs> you stupid, bro. Look at the doors go up. Everybody got doors that go up but us, brother. Man, we got we to get a car with some doors that go up. Come on, man. How you doing, my man? You drive my dream car, brother. That's, that thing is legendary, Ryan, man. Corey, nice Corey, to meet nice you, my to man. You. How you doing, my man? Yeah, nice to meet you, Corey, man. Sheesh. No, I think crazy. Mr. Organic. Organic? Yeah, that'd be me, man. Nice to meet you, Chad. How you doing? Mr. Organic. Man, look at this, man. That's what life all about, man. Meeting people, networking with people, collabing with people. You know what I'm saying? This is where it's at. This is how it's supposed to go. You know what I mean? In life. Look at all the doors going down, man. About to go get something to eat. Okay, let's get it. Come on, man. Look at that SB Roaster. That SB Roaster is the one, man. You killing the game, man. Oh, we, boy. Hey, no shot at the 720S, brother, but come on, man. That that whole lineup is just crazy, though, man. Let me get the Hellcat. I got to start mine up. Get my Hellcat some uh, some some uh, glory. You know, you got all these uh, foreigners around me. Look at that, man. We got a wide and low that. Shit. Yeah, I think it's buck nasty, man. He got, hey, come on, man. No, it's all good. The window's dry now, so you cool. Yeah, yeah we need three made of wickedness. Look at the McLaren. Sheesh. Come on, man. Let me, go, let me go ahead and put my joint in full track mode just in case they want to play with me. Yeah, definitely got to do that because uh, I'm keeping up. You know what I mean?